Rob from Higher Power H2O. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video on 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 the cells and HHO and stuff. Um, basically, the truck had it. My '93 Cummins um, truck had it on it for a good six months before I got T-boned. I got T-boned by a Subaru and took my uh, whole front end and crunched it in and. The uh, shells no longer had a home, and I just got the front end put on it. And you can see, I'm doing a bunch of body work so that I can paint the thing. But um, these two 31 plate cells are going in the back in the bed, along with actually two more. Um, so it's going to have quite a bit of. Uh, liters per minute that I'll be able to use um, and straight away it's going to have got two of these deep cycle uh, batteries and everything will get mounted in the back of the truck there you see that on the driver side is the generator passenger side is the air compressor um, and it's going to get stuffed in between those two um, and then the batteries, uh, for the time being, will be back there also. But I'm building a cage for underneath the truck um, where I'm going to have um, 10 6 volt style batteries. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is the truck is going to get uh, just over 2,000 watts of solar on it. Um, and build the canopy out of solar panels and they'll fold up and stow to where if I throw my dirt bike in the back or whatever I can they'll stack all up into one and obviously they won't be used at that time but that will still be a functional work truck um, but the uh, HHO will all go off of solar um, uh, the uh, Solar, this truck will also be the off-grid for my motorhome. Uh, we're going full-time in a 40-foot RV uh, diesel pusher. It'll have its own solar, too, but um, I'll be able to, you know, when I'm home, be able to plug this battery bank into the motorhome so that um, I can run all my uh, ACs and everything on the motorhome off solar. I mean, the motorhome's got a 10,000-watt generator on it, um, but I'm switching the ACs to uh, a mini split system, which are very low wattage. Uh, I think they got a tier of like 22 or something crazy. Um, I don't want to get it as far off the grid as I can. And then the motorhome and these will both drive HHO cells via solar. Um, this truck will get. Right now I've got 1,200 watts for the panels, uh, 5,000 Xantrex inverter, and uh, uh, the charge controllers for for the solar panels. Um, I'll leave the generator in it for now um, until I get more batteries. Because I mean, with two batteries, I couldn't run my my gener my uh, compressor very long with. Um, but the goal will be getting that generator out of the bed and uh, run solely off of batteries and then obviously be driving the, the HHO. Um, prior to the accident and pre uh, the last couple of videos I redid my injectors and my fuel injection pump um, but I was driving about 1500 miles a week doing this mobile stuff um, and it it was turning out I was averaging between 26 and 28 uh, miles to the gallon with the HHO. Um, now I've turned the truck up quite a bit now, um, so all those numbers are going to be, you know, I, I I don't know what to expect on them. But uh, the truck as it sits now, I just came back from Oregon, delivered a 16,000 pound trailer. Uh, fifth wheel trailer and for 
for the 1400 miles up there, I got 14.1 miles to the gallon at 55 to 60. Uh, return trip without the trailer, I was a little over 10,000 pounds, it got 22.3. Um, and that was at 70 to 75 the whole trip. Uh, no HHO, that's just the truck. Um, so the truck does really good on fuel as it is. Um, but uh, the goal is my season really picks up here in July and uh, I'd like to get it close to the 30 mile a gallon mark again. Um, the other doodads that are going on it, which I'll make videos on those, is a three stage water injection kit. Um, the first stage will be on just after throttle or just af after idle and then it'll be straight distilled water um, just trying to get the thermal efficiency up a little bit better and then the next two stages are progressive with uh, methanol water um, get the horsepower up there when I need it um, and uh, the fun factor but uh, the biggest part will be just the straight water um, and everybody will ask you know what about all the weight and this and that and you know I've loaded this truck down with 1300-1400 pounds and the, the mileage difference is almost incalculable it just doesn't matter um, as long as I'm not cutting into the aerodynamics any more than it's already a brick but if I go taller than the cab or something like that, then my mileage starts to suffer. But, you know, I've hauled two, 3,000 pounds of scrap, 100 miles, and still get the same mileage within a half mile to the gallon. Um, so the extra water and batteries and stuff's not really a concern. And I think after everything's said and done, it'll be definitely well worth it. But we'll keep records of it and keep you informed and... Um, kind of show you the build process um, but fortunately with this rig and my motorhome solar powered HHO is very easy to do it's not cheap with the solar panels but um, definitely takes some of the complications out of stuff um, but that's it for now and uh, got to get to work cleaning this mess up and getting these cells back on the truck because I think that July comes around, we're going to be looking at seven, you know, five fifty, six dollars a gallon for diesel. Right now, as it is, it's it's already too much. Have a good one.